Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so today and like our videos. We really appreciate our viewers. So today we're going to do a lot of voiceover work. We're at the scrap yard and we are picking up the post for the basement. This will hold up our I-beam. These we need six posts, as you've seen in our last uh, or previous videos. We poured six uh, five by five footings for these posts. So uh, we went to D and J and we found some posts. We needed some heavier posts rather than just going to the big box store and picking up some four inch, uh, eighth inch pipe posts. These are. 8 inch I beams we happen to come across and they're half inch thick so these will definitely do the job uh, they're a little heavy to work with but uh, we they're too long so we need to do some fabricating on them and one of the coolest things was this uh, here uh, piece of equipment this guy's operating to load the post it's some kind of large magnet so uh, it's that's pretty interesting how he runs that thing. So sit back and enjoy, and we'll throw in some voiceover every so often.
we got the post back to the shop. Now we need to fabricate them. They are too long. So we have to cut off the top plate, grind the weld off of that, and then we have to cut the post to length and weld the top plate back on. So right here I'm cutting the top plate off of this particular post. This was definitely not the funnest job in the world. Lots of cutting. We used the disaster saw there, as you can see, and we even used the cutting to torch on some of it just to break up the monotony. Yeah, earlier I had said I was cutting the top plate off of that one. I think I already had done that. I am cutting this post to length right now. Right here we have one of the top plates and we have to grind the welds off of it. This is also not the funnest job in the world and uh, it took a while for each one, but we got her done.
right here I'm welding the top plate back on so this post is upside down at this present time to make it easier to weld and this particular one is the uh, number one post it was actually too short because at the scrap yards someone had already cut it so we had to actually weld it back together you can see that weld line that we have already completed so uh, the rest of them did not have that problem the other five so uh, right here I'm just welding the top plate on and uh, we're finally on the home stretch on fabricating these six posts This one here is number two. We got to weld the top plate back on now. I'll go get a top plate while he's taking that in there. So here's the top plates that DJ ground the welds off. He did a fabulous job. And now I've got that. All these are cut to length. So I just got to weld the top plates on. We're on the home stretch here, folks. This has been a long process and no fun job, but it's got to be done. So, we just got about an inch of rain, a huge rainstorm, so that's good for the crops. I wonder what we're doing here. So here is one of six of our basement posts. We picked these up at the scrap yard. They happen to have six posts, all the same, and 
These came out of a local factory. I won't mention any names, but everybody works there. If you're from my area, you know what I'm talking about. I can tell by the color, and uh, we poured a lot of concrete in that factory, so we know what's going on. So they were too long, except for this one was too short. Somebody had cut it. So we had to clean it up and extend it this much. And then you can see in the previous videos, we cut the top plate off. This is upside down. We cut the top plate off, ground it smooth, and I just got done welding that back on, which you just saw. So this is number one post, and it is done. We got five more to go. So and we got visitors, so I'm gonna go talk to them. Thanks everybody. So I gotta make some more shims. Shoot. Hey, you. hey, hi everybody. I'm on camera. Gotta put a shim under my right side. We're just putting two bolts in it for now so it doesn't fall on anybody and after we get it all plumbed up and the beam on we'll put other two bolts in.